Hello everyone and welcome back to another creature feature. Today's creature feature is going to be all about box turtles. Now box turtles specifically, we're gonna be talking about how to help them cross the road. This time of year, box turtles are gonna be on the move and you're gonna start seeing a lot more of them on the road. And one of our top questions here at the nature station is how do I safely help these turtles that are crossing the road? And I'm here to help you figure that out. Now to introduce you to our turtle friend here, this is Carrot. This is, one of, this is our male box turtle and take a good look at him, hello. He gets his name for the orange markings that the males are known to have. Uh, and they usually get those from carotenoids, which are found in vegetables and things like carrots. Uh, so you can see he's got some really pretty orange markings there. And he is ready to be a great demonstrator on how to help you save his fr wild friends from cars in the street. So let's talk a little bit about how you save one of those turtles. Now, the first thing you want to do when rescuing a box turtle in the street is you have to make sure first priority is that you stop safely. If you cannot stop yourself, your car, and its passengers safely, do not attempt to rescue an animal off the road. Your safety is first priority. After that, you need to help the turtle. So once you've stopped, the next step is to figure out which direction the turtle was going. So our friend here is starting to move in a towards the end of the street here. So he's actually about ready to be done crossing the road. And so we would want to pick him up and carry him to the other side in the direction he's traveling like so. You pick them up from either side, they might try to pee on you, some of them might run away, and some might tuck themselves in place. But once you pick them up, you always want to carry them and put them in the grass in the direction in which they were traveling. This is because if you turn them around and try to put them on the side of the road that they were not facing, they don't want to go that direction. Instead, they want to go where they were headed. So they will just turn around and try to cross the street again. And that's the last thing you want to do if you're trying to save them. After that, you can just let them go and off on their merry way after they have crossed the street. Now, one of the big questions, you know, that is the basis of this whole video is why did the turtle cross the road in the first place? And I know it sounds like the opening to a really bad joke, but actually box turtles are really, really well traveled. You can see right now that carrot is moving and grooving. They can really scuttle when they want to. Uh, they actually love to travel and box turtles are Eastern box turtles specifically are considered to be a, in a vulnerable conservation status and this the, the reason for that is because of a lot of habitat loss their habitats are being fragmented by our neighborhoods and roads roads split up their habitat quite a bit and because of that that is why a turtle is going to cross the road they are looking for food they're looking for a mate and they're just looking to live their turtle lives so by crossing the road, they can find a lot of those resources. But of course, since they are so small and unable to fend for themselves against cars and whatnot, they do need our help in order to safely get across and continue their turtle lives. Now, something to keep in mind after you've been, become a turtle superhero and rescued your turtle is make sure you wash your hands. These are wild animals. They can carry diseases and that kind of thing. And so we just wanna make sure we wash our hands to stay nice and safe. We say this all the time at the nature station, whenever you touch a wild animal, whether it be a turtle, a frog, a small sibling, you need to wash your hands because you just don't know where they've been. Now, a little bit about box turtles. The type of box turtle we have around here in Land Between the Lakes is the Eastern box turtle. Box turtles are not water turtles. They cannot swim. They need a little bit of water to go to the bathroom in, believe it or not, but that's about it. They do not have webbed feet. Instead, they've got claws on the backs of their feet. Let's get a good look at that. Oh, there's there's a little, little, little turtle toe. Uh, a couple more turtle toes. There we go. Uh, you can see that they're not built for swimming. They don't have webbed feet. They are terrestrial. They want to live on land. So if you ever see a box turtle, they do not need to be put near a pond or anything like that. 
that. Um, but a water source, you know, like a puddle or something is always nice to have in their general area. Box turtles out in the wild t usually have a home range of about four acres on average. Now, some scientists say that can go all the way up to 10 acres, but that's pretty large. Normally, they're gonna have a much smaller territory and you'll even find multiple box turtles in the same area. Now, another common thing about box turtles, a lot of people know about these guys because they are often kept as pets. Now, here in Land Between the Lakes, if you find a turtle on our roads, you cannot keep it. It is illegal to do so. Uh, now, if you do take a wild turtle outside of Land Between the Lakes as a pet, there's a couple things to keep in mind. First things first is that you really shouldn't keep it that long uh, because once you keep them for too long, they cannot be released back into the wild. Once a turtle is raised in captivity for like you know, for a while they will, can possibly carry disease and other things back into that area if you were to release them into that same area now if you pick them up and just hold on to them for a day or two the most important thing to remember is to release them back where you found them they have their own territories like we talked about their own areas and you don't want to remove them from that area because they won't be able to take care of themselves very well they know exactly where their home turf is and everything that's in that home turf so you don't want to move from that another thing to keep keep in mind is that turtles are incredibly long lived. Box turtles can actually live to be up to 100 years old. So if you want to keep a turtle as a pet, any turtle, whether it's exotic or a turtle in your backyard, you need to keep that in mind that they are a commitment. They live a very long time and will often outlive their owners. So that is something to keep in mind before you get any turtle as a pet. On behalf of the Woodlands Nature Station, I want to thank you so much for joining us for another creature feature, learn how to be a turtle superhero. My name is Arianne, and Kara and I will catch you in another video.